Okay, hello everybody. Um, today we're going to be going over congruent figures. So congruent means that two things have the uh, same shape and the same size. Okay, so we're starting on our notes page here. Um, so congruent means that they have the same shape and the same size. And congruent figures have corresponding angles and sides that are also congruent. So corresponding means matching. Matching. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you can see here on mine, I have it in color. Y'all can see the different sides of this uh, trapezoid that we have. And it says A, B, C, D. So they're naming it A, B, C, D is congruent to E, F, G, H. Okay, so you notice how I drew those arrows uh, going around the shape. Well, that order is very, very important, okay, because angle A matches with angle E, angle B matches with angle F, angle C matches with angle G, and angle D matches with angle H, okay? Um, <clears throat> so one kind of thing that I like to do is I like to write the letters vertically like this. So A, B, C, D, and then the other one's E, F, G, H. And you know that these angles are congruent to each other. So angle A is congruent to angle E. Angle B is congruent to angle F. Angle C is congruent to angle G. And angle D is congruent to angle H. So the corresponding angles, they're congruent, they're equal in size. So if angle A is 50, then so is angle E. Okay. Um, also, their matching sides are the same length. So we have uh, AB, side AB is congruent to side EF. Okay, um, and then look, BC is congruent to side FG. And then look at your next two letters in the name. CD matches with GH, and you can see that in the picture. So CD is congruent to GH. And then the last one... You go from the last letter up to the top one. DA is congruent to HE. Okay, so congruent angles, congruent sides, and you have to make sure that you match them up properly. So now we'll go down here. Um, so yes, the order matters. Okay, the order that you name these things in uh, dictates what shape is congruent. So A, B, C, D... A, B, C, D is congruent to R, S, T, U, okay? And you have to go by how they name them, okay, um, in order to match the different pieces because you don't know exactly the lengths of these sides. So you have to go by the order that they tell you. And like I said, I like to write them vertically, so A, B, C, D. R, S, T, U. And so now look at this. It says angle B is congruent to what? Well, just look. B matches with S, so it's congruent to angle S. D is congruent to U, because those match. And then the sides. B, C, okay, B, C is going to match with S, T. Okay, so that's how you use the uh, letters to help you match things. Okay, now the markings. Sometimes they won't give you uh, the shapes, like they won't give you this congruency statement. That's what that's called. They'll give you markings on your diagram. And you have to remember that if you have the same number of tick marks, then that sides, those sides are congruent. If your angles have the same marking, then those angles are congruent. So <clears throat> here we have one tick mark here, one tick mark there, and then the other sides we've got three and two. 
So those are all congruent there. So angle Z. Okay, look at angle Z. And if you notice, all of your angles have the same markings on them. So this is actually a little bit tricky. You have to look at the sides. Okay, angle Z is made when the side with one tick mark meets the side with three tick marks. So you got to look at that. So go over here. Here's the side with one tick mark. And here's the side with three tick marks. Where do they meet? At angle T. So angle Z is congruent to angle T. Okay, now we'll go through and look at angle R. Okay, angle R is over here. It's made when the two tick mark side and the three tick mark side meet. So go look over here. Two tick marks and three tick marks, that's angle X. Okay, and then now we'll actually get into the shape. Well, let's do the side first. Okay, YZ, okay? YZ, that's the side with one tick mark. So over here, that matches ST. Okay, and it doesn't matter. You could call it TS, just whichever you like, as long as you've got the right letters. Okay, and then now, XYZ. So they're talking about this triangle. So what I like to do is I like to draw an arrow around. I start at X, and I go to Y, and then I go to Z. And you look at the markings, okay? X, Y, that's the two tick mark side. And then it goes around the corner and it goes to the one tick mark side. So we have to do the same pattern over here. So the two tick mark side to the one tick mark side. So we can see that we have to go like this. So you have to start at R, go to S, and then end up at T. So it's congruent to R, S, T. And technically, since these are triangles, you should put the triangle symbol in front. Okay, so that's matching with the uh, markings. And then now we have one other thing um, that's specific for triangles. This is called the third angle theorem because triangles have three angles. Okay, and so it says if two angles of one triangle are congruent, meaning equal, to two angles of another triangle, then the third angles are also congruent. So basically what they're saying is if you have two angles from each triangle that are equal, well then you automatically know that third angle is equal for both of them as well. So this angle C, we'll just do a big mark on it, and same thing with angle F. So those would be congruent. Because we see that angle A and B and D and E, they're both congruent. So we know that C and F are congruent in our picture. And so now we'll actually apply this. So it says find X. Okay, first thing. Um, we've got a pair of uh, vertical angles right here because they're uh, and they're congruent. So I know this one is also going to be a right angle. Okay. And now we have to actually match up our different sides here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> We can see this one. Okay, you can see um, this 28 over here is matching with this guy right here. Okay, so this is your 28. So basically what they've done is they've taken the triangle and they've flipped it around. Okay, so X is like this corner right here. Now, in order to uh, know what the angle has got to be, well, we have to know that the three angles of a triangle, they add up to 180. So we do 180 minus 90, all right? Okay, 180 minus 90, because that's our right angle, 90. And that gives us 90. And then now, you have to subtract the 28, because that's going to give us the third angle. So 90 minus 28. 10 minus 8 is 2, 8 minus 2 is 6. So our remaining angle, X, is 62. Okay? And the whole point of this is that if I know that two angles of these are congruent, then their third angles are also going to be congruent. Because here I knew that this was 28 and 90, so I know this one has to be 62, 
And since I know that this guy here is 90, and that one over there is also 28, well then I can find out x. Okay, and so now we'll do a couple more examples here. And this will help you with your assignment. So it says um, triangle, we got to write the congruency statements here. So they're saying triangle JHK. Okay, so JHK going in this order here. So look at how you follow it. We go on the side with one tick mark and then the side with two tick marks. So let's go look over here. Here's the one tick mark side, there's a two tick mark side. So one tick mark to two tick marks. So it's STR. Okay. Um, now, writing all these things down, that can help you. But of course, we have to do a couple more examples. So I'm going to be erasing. Okay. And then now, TRS. So T to R and then to S. So we go to the side with two tick marks and then two three tick marks. So do the same thing here. Here's the two tick mark side, and then we're going down the three tick mark side. So it's got to be HKJ. So triangle HKJ. All right, and then the next one, KJH. So they start at K and they go to J and then they go up to H. So they're going down the three tick mark side and then back up the one tick mark side. So this one would have to be R, S, T. Okay. Um, and then now it says the pair of polygons are congruent. Find the measure of the numbered angles. Okay. So right here we can see that we've got some angles that are matching up. I can see angle 3 is corresponding to that 90. So angle 3 is 90 degrees. Because remember your box over here, that's 90. And then angle 4 matches over here with this 135. So angle 4 is 135. Okay. And now this one. Um, we can see that they're just kind of mirrored. So these two lower corners, that's 6 and 8. And we can see they both have boxes, which the box means 90. So angle 6 is equal to angle 8. And they're both equal to 90. And then angle 5, we can see matches up with over here um, angle B. So it's 140. Okay. And then we're not going to worry about angle 7 because we haven't gotten to that concept quite yet. So angle 5 matches with 140. And then now the last couple ones. It says find the value of x. Okay. Um, Right here, we know that these are congruent because they're vertical angles. So this is also 5x. And then I know that this angle right here with the one mark, that's 74. And so now, um, we know the three angles of a triangle, they add up to 180. So we have 3x plus 2 plus 5x plus 74 equals 180. And so now just add them. 3x and 5x, that's 8x. Um, 74 plus 2, that's 76. That's 180. And then now take away 76 from both sides. So you get 8x is equal to 104. And then all you'll have to do is divide. So do 104 divided by 8, and you get x is 13. So there you go. And don't worry too much. You're not going to have anything this complicated on today's practice. Just this is kind of more for future reference. Um, and then, yeah, example 6, we will come back to that kind of example later. So now let's go look at our assignment. So I'll give you a moment. And again, if y'all have missed anything so far, please pause, rewind, go back, okay? I will leave a hard copy of the notes as well in case anybody needs it. So go to your assignment really quick, and we will uh, look at one here. So 
We've already done one, two, three, four. We've given examples of those. All you have to do is use your letters to help match. Same thing with five through ten. Use the letters, match them up. Okay, um, but these ones here. This is write a statement that indicates that the this should say figures in each pair are congruent. So this is the one where you have to say whatever is congruent to whatever. So you have to use your markings. So I'm going to just name the first one. B, V, C. Okay, so I'm going this way. B, V, C. So B, V, C is congruent to, and then now we have to name this one. We have to go in the same order. So look at your angles. I went from the two marks on the angle to the three marks to the one mark. So now over here I have to go the same way. So B and then D is three marks and C is one. So it's B, D, C. So that's how you do these ones. Okay, um, so just go through, match them up, and that's all there is to it. And see you guys tomorrow.